So let me introduce you to the broadsword. Now, Chinese broadsword um, is very different from a European broadsword. Uh, you can call it the Dao if you want to. Um, I wouldn't worry. Again, it's one of those things we try to avoid too many Chinese words if we can possibly avoid it. So it's a heavy sword. It's slightly curved. It's sharp on one side. The significance of this is that you are going to swing it. It's heavy and it wants to continuously flow. If you stop the movement with a sword of this weight, you've now got inertia to get over to start it moving again. So you won't hold it in front of you like you might the straight sword, which moves very quickly. This wants to keep moving and it wants to keep moving all of the time. The way to think about this sword is if you kind of imagine that there's a little engine on the back of it here. Again, if this helps, then use the idea, but if it doesn't help, ignore it. Imagine there's a little motor on the back of this sword driving it all the time so that all you've got to do at that point is steer it and not worry about the end. So if you can get the idea that this moves continuously with a motor behind it, just pushing it forwards, then you'll start to get the idea. Um, this is very much a battlefield sword. This is the sort of sword where if you're surrounded by enemies, you can keep it moving continuously and know that you're gonna hit someone. You probably wouldn't want it to too close to your mates because you're gonna hit them as well, but you get the idea. So it's a heavy sword. You keep it moving, it's a circular thing, which again is why, you know, you want to get your legs out of the way. You'll notice as you go through the form, there's, a, there's steps. So if you think of it in these terms, if I'm cutting like this, I want to be moving so that that leg is out of the way. I don't want to be swinging it back, for example, here. I want to be swinging it and get that leg out of the way. So there's an awful lot of movement where you're moving legs either forwards, that would get this leg out of the way, or moving backwards, that also gets. So you can swing quite close to yourself without taking your own foot off. Trust me, I've seen enough people hit their own feet using a practice one to know that it really does make a difference getting your feet out of the way. So you're swinging it, it's got some weight, you're moving around, you're surprising your opponent all the time by exactly where you're coming from. So it's about changing direction, it's about changing your step, it's about keeping it moving. It's a really fluid, beautifully flowing movement all the time. Enjoy it.